Decisions about technology and education affect how we learn. Youth and students must have a voice in shaping the tech landscape of our schools. It must be on our terms. Therefore, technology must be equitable and leave no one behind. We need better infrastructure and connectivity, especially in rural resource or remote areas to reduce the digital divide. If you work with communities, we can compass the social norms that are stopping girls from accessing and using technology in regions like in the Arab states. The cost for using technology for learning must be brought down for learners in the Pacific and elsewhere. Those who can't afford access to technology need financial assistance. Cost barriers to specialized equipment like braille keyboards must be brought down. Not leaving anyone behind means making sure that policy and initiatives follow universal design principles for learning. In South Asia and beyond, we need personalized learning approaches that are inclusive of learners in all their diversity. For each take to be on our terms, it must be appropriate who we are, where we are, and what we actually need to learn must be taken into account. Whenever choosing technology to invest in, consider our identity, our background, and our ability. We all speak different languages, and we need content that we can understand. Without it, millions of indigenous youths youth with disabilities, among others, in the Latin American and Caribbean region and across the world, could be left behind. It's not appropriate if we cannot use it train our teachers in digital skills. We need skills to protect ourselves online and skills for the labor market in Southeast Asia and other regions. Make sure you periodically review our curricula so our skills are updated as technology adapts. In order for technology and education to serve the Pacific region, we must come together as a community. We must collaborate. This means that we need everyone at the table, governments, government ministries, higher education institutions, research think tanks, schools, NGOs, faith-based organisations and the private sector. We need them to come together to collaborate with youth organisations, with student organisations. We need intergenerational collaboration. Nothing about us without us. Youth and teachers can also help you monitor the actual impacts of technology on learning. It's so important to monitor, monitor, and monitor. This is the way to ensure that technology is on our terms and that it's beneficial to you from Europe and other regions. Last but not least, technology in education will never be appropriate for us if it is not safe. Students from around the world call for our data and privacy to be protected with better policies, guidelines and protocols. Timeouts and well-being checks in school can minimize screen time and the impacts of digital exposure. Join our call to action. Technology in education must be on our terms.